I hope you're all safe and well. This week, while doing a little bit of fun homeschooling with my daughter, got me thinking about how what I was doing with her could help you. Today, we're gonna to talk about progressive practice. It is difficult at the moment. A lot of us are doing a little bit of homeschooling, grandparents and parents. And it, it's not easy, we're not teachers. Um, so I'm no different. On Thursday, I had Phoebe and Thomas all to myself at home. Phoebe's got obviously school, she's in her first year reception. And we want to make it fun and enjoyable for her. And we posted a, a video on Facebook, I think it'll be playing sometimes below here. Um, just to try and make it a bit more fun and interesting for her and also a little bit more interesting for me. It's not easy to sit at a table dishing out instructions to a five-year-old who's probably not wanting to be at the table and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that what I did with Phoebe, um, there will be a link at the end if you want to see Phoebe do it. She is a little superstar and she did put pretty good, probably better than her dad. Um, I know I've had a few comments about the shirts that we were wearing, but you know, it, that's just what it is. We have different support, different teams, don't we? Um, so I'm pretty sure that you don't need help in how to count to five or how to subtract or add um, numbers up to five together. But it got me thinking about how could what I was doing with Phoebe make practice more interesting for yourselves. So unless you have a putting mat which is slightly raised and you can put uh, as a whole at the end, you'll see them. Um, I've seen them on, on the internet. They, they have a bit of a slope at the end and they've got a little hole at the end of it. Um, if you've got one of them, great. You probably don't need to do this, but you know, maybe doing this as well will benefit your game as well. So I just took a box and I've cut holes on each, each different side of it. I start at five inch, four inch, three inch there and two inch this side. Um, I know you'll probably be thinking mm, five inch, that's bigger than the hole itself. Yeah, a hole is four and a quarter inches big. Um, but what we're looking at is progressive practice. So it is very, very frustrating if you are practicing, you're not actually achieving what you want to do. You're, how can I put it, like Phoebe, you get lose interest very, very quickly if, it's, if you're not achieving what you want to do. So start off with a five. Once you've got feeling comfortable with that and you're, and you're holding quite a few, move that forward. Now, now we lessen the hole itself for four inches. This is a little bit more replicating golf. But like in golf, we want to make it, it harder. So the hole is four and a quarter inches um, in size. If you now go down three inch, you're now making the hole smaller. And then feeling comfortable with that, you move down two inch. Now that's like half the size of the hole. So by progressing your practice down, you want you you're focusing your target a little bit narrower and also when you get out into the golf course you will now see the hole as big as a bucket because you've been practicing with a two inch hole or even a three inch hole if you can't get out two inch and that will mean that you'll feel more confident when you try to hole a putt you've been practicing on a hole that is smaller than the hole itself. That's why I've called it progressive practice because the target that you're trying to hit is smaller and go and, and incrementally goes down smaller um, as you go as you as your skill level progresses. So just taking any box out of the house, a cereal box a shoe box, just cut some holes in it, different, 
distance uh, measurements if you want. I just naturally progress from 5 inch down to 2 inch. What you do have to remember the golf ball is 1.68 inch, so do not go down to a 1.5 or 1 inch hole, you will never get that golf ball in. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. There is a link below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you'd like to put any comments, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much, stay safe, and see you soon.